Ninja Kuki, and today I'm going to show you how to build a shelter under $15 or less. What do you need, Ninja Kuki? Well, you need some rope, some twine, and some free stuff, and some trees. <laughs> Basically, you need two trees, really, four trees. Two you gotta cut, but I'm at the Fountain Blue State Park and they don't allow you to cut trees. So I'm gonna use these two by fours as my foundation for my shelter. So I'm gonna show you how to build a shelter under $15 or less. Y'all seen these at Home, uh, Home Depot for $9 and bake lines no more than $8. So maybe $15 or less. I'm gonna show you how to build a shelter in no time. All right, so basically you need a saw, rope, and a knife and your supplies, which is free. Never, my motto is using trash to survive. What is that, Ranger Cookie? I'm glad you asked. All right, let's get a little hot out here, so we're gonna take the hat off and gloves, show you what this is all about. All right, everybody knows what these are. This is a banner that from McDonald's. And they just throw these away. This is good quality tarp. I can make a swimming pool out of this thing. So if you got plenty of them and sew them all together, you could probably make a swimming pool. So basically, I got this from under the trash. And I got this one also. You know, call them up, find out if they're throwing them away. Because they do throw them away at McDonald's. So call your local uh, McDonald's and ask them to save their tarps for you because they just go throw them away. It's a beautiful tarp. It's it's heavy duty. You can't beat that. So I'm going to build a shelter using these tarps. So come along with me. All right. So you want to go out and get your two uh, long uh, trees that you're going to cut. Well, I can't cut nothing out here, so I'm going to use... This is free too. This was in a burn pile at a house they usually burn. So if you go to those new houses, you might can find some of this two by four that they're gonna burn anyway. They put a nail in it, they can't bring it back. They can't use it for nothing else, but burn. All right, so, and now, I got two trees, two trees, that fits my, bitch, my, uh, well, I'm going to use those two big trees behind me to open open my uh, beddy. I'm going to show what I'm making. It's called a stretcher hammock. So let's, let's get going. This is only, what, $9 at Home Depot or Walmart. And they're easy to get. Mm. That didn't work. <laughs> but it's all right. I'll live. I will live. All right, get our string out and all our goodies. All right. This is where you need your knife at because if you are, you need this this other rope after you build the shelter, you just cut it. But since I'm not not doing that, I'm just going to use the whole rope because I'm going to use the whole rope to tie it to the tree and secure my mat to it. So we're gonna untangle this, which is fun to do. You ever get a ball of knots and rope? You try to untangle it? <laughs> it's so much fun! That's for you, Ranger Cookie. I don't like those knots. <laughs> don't be a skeptic. All right, finally. <clears throat> All right, what I'm gonna do is take the two trees that I cut and see if I could tie them together. I'm going to tie them together and bind them to the, this, this, the, my two trees. All right, we're going to put this one on the other side of the tree. And I'm going to bind them up, see if I can get that done. All right. It's kind of hard working by yourself out here. Hmm. 
what I'm doing, I'm just going to pull this rope. Try to tie it the best I can, the best way I can, to these two trees. Look at me! Get me, boy! So basically when you're making your uh, tree loops, I mean your tree, uh, make sure they go past your, uh, what you need. Damn it, uh, take that word. Ooh. I'm getting worse like some of these old folks do. Ooh. Now, here comes the fun part. What I did, I just try to tie it as best as I can over here. I loop it around and tie it to this side. So now I have to, because one's smaller than the other. I couldn't find a tree that was small enough to do the job. So there we go. We got our first part up. Now we're going to make the bedding part back and forth this is what you want to do go back and forth now with this rope. Somehow, I got my rope wrong. That was giving me hell. <laughs> Get you, boy! So basically, what I'm trying to do is make my bedding the same time, the same time I'm making the, where it stays on here. And I kind of screwed up on my roping. Yeah, I used too much rope, so where I have to redo the whole thing. Now, what I want to do, I want to take the, my rope. And I wanted to go back and forth with it until I run out of rope. And I want to do, do this, I'm going to overlap it. I should go over. Yeah, there you go. Always go over it because that way you have, oops, I can't go over. <laughs> Okay, now we got the end of the rope. We'll put this over here. What I'm doing is double, uh, overlap, uh, double overlap. I'll show you why that's why. It's like this, two ropes. Now what you wanna do is tighten that rope up as much as you can. 
and go over it like this. And try to keep it where it's level. All right, I used too much rope in the back, but it's there. Now, since I ran out of rope, I have to use bake line for the other side just to keep it there. What I'm doing, I'm, I'm trying to save my rope, so I don't have to cut it. Now, I was going to use this as my, uh, my, uh, uh my cross thread for my uh like right, so all right now we got our bedding in now we have to use our tarp I'm gonna wrap this around so we're going to get the long piece, the very long piece here, and we're just going to take it. Now I can build a shelter underneath, which I'm doing here, to keep, uh, keep my belongings dry. And what I'm going to do is just take this and wrap it around my hammock frame to tie this down we just need it as our bedding now when we get on it I hope it falls alright home sweet home for some people it's not good for tall people I tell you that you better you better have Plenty leg room. You can sleep sideways too. And the last piece, y'all know what to do with that. This is your roof. It's a temporary shelter and it costs no more than $15 to build. And that goes here. 
All right. Well, it's like tying it up, but you knew, you get the point. You just tie your hammock up or your tarp with the carabiners on it. And you have a roof and a stretcher bed to sleep tonight. Now we're on the floor with the ants in the cold weather, doing the cold weather season. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I hope you enjoy the uh, making shelter under $15 or less. See you next video.